Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland with Most Training and I have a quick and powerful tip for you and it is relative to Word 2007 and Word 2010 and it's going to keep you from having to type so much. I'm going to show you how to create uh, what is called a, a building block and you can use this to insert uh, images that you use frequently. It could be a table that you have created in a special design that you use for different projects. It could be a smart art design you use frequently, an inside address, a complimentary close, uh, clauses in a, in a contract. The list just goes on, but you get the idea. Here's how it begins. You make certain that what you want to include in the building block that you will insert later with a point and a click, that you have it on the screen and then you select it. In my case, I've put my social media toolbox uh, image that I use in marketing a lot. So whatever you need, make certain that you uh, have it here and you select it. Now, I have the image selected. From the insert ribbon within the text group here on the far right, you have a choice for quick parts. It is a gallery. And there are many different types of galleries in Word. This is just one of many. From the Quick Parts Gallery, I already have things I've added in the past. And down at the bottom, though, you need the option that says Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. That's what I'm choosing. Now you'll be asked for a name. I'm going to call this one, uh, let's see, Social Toolbox. And notice that the gallery is set to include it in the quick parts, but this is what is going to be different for you. I'm going to show you how you can take these things and assign them to a gallery called Auto Text. Because we're going to put a button on the toolbar called Auto Text, and when you click, it will give you a drop down list of anything that you've added to the gallery called Auto Text. So again, I changed the gallery setting from quick parts to Auto Text. Uh, the category is set to general, although you can create your own categories. And then I'm going to save it in my building blocks. It will be available for all documents that I create in the future. And options is set to insert content only. That means wherever your cursor's at and you insert, that's where it will insert. However, when you click the down arrow, you have two other choices. You do have the choice for the content to be inserted into its own paragraph or inserted into its own page. I'm doing insert content only. I've got all the settings in place, name, gallery, auto text, click OK. Now I don't need this image on the screen anymore, I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to add a button called auto text to the quick access toolbar. At the very end of the quick access toolbar is a down arrow where you can get to common commands as well as commands that are not in this list. We need more commands because the auto text button is from this uh, list that you're about to see. Actually, you will need to change your list from popular commands to, let's see, all commands. Then you're seeing everything and you're looking for auto text. And it's way on down in the list. And what we're going to do is add that auto text option to the toolbar with just a double click. There it is, auto text. A double click from this list on the left places your option on the right, which is the list of things being added to your toolbar. That's the only thing I want to add, auto text. Click OK in the lower right. Now watch, here's the toolbar, there's the button, auto text. When I click, there is my social media toolbox logo. And anything else that you select and add to the quick parts and you change the gallery to auto text, then when you click this button, it'll be in the drop-down list with one click. There's my logo. Don't you love that? I hope you enjoyed that power tip. There'll be more tips coming soon. In the meantime, have a great week. Bye-bye.